الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد احبتي في الله what happened in the UK and what's happening in America and what's happening really around the world especially in the west the islamophobia the rise of islamophobia the migrants coming from Syria and other war zones and conflicts the challenges they face all of these are trials and tribulations that the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is going through and we can attribute some of this fitna to the evil and wickedness of groups like the khawarij groups like from the modern day khawarij like ISIS or Daesh or uh Boko Haram and other extremist groups who do not represent Islam and who are far from the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said al khawarij kilab an nar the khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam also mentioned uh about the khawarij he said the that they are young people with foolish thoughts and ideas and this is the general meaning of the hadith and it was also narrated in Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu also from the characteristics of these groups that cause this fitna and harm and the help to foment the rise in islamophobia is the statement of maymun ibn mahran rahimahullah ta'ala aw radiyallahu ta'ala an and he described the khawarij he said he is the one if you disagree with his opinion he will call you a disbeliever and make it permissible to kill you isn't this what we see from these groups the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also mentioned or actually it was a statement i believe it was a hadith and it was mentioned by umar ibn al-khattab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu or ibn umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said yaqtuluna ahla uthan uh, yaqtuluna ahla al-islam wa yatrakuna ahla uthan he said that they leave when describing the khawarij that they kill the people of islam and they lead the people of idolatry this is also a characteristic of the original khawarij and of these modern day groups who are the people mostly that these people kill those who oppose them so they make takfir of them they kill do suicide bombings in turkey they kill have killed thousands of muslims in syria along with the shaitan bashar and his evil wicked alawiyin and his com his associates and his protectors from the world powers that have come together to eat the muslims and in fact it will return to them the point being a habit of allah is that to be aware this ideology and be aware of what of the dangers of it and be aware of what is happening around us so for us living in the west perhaps some people will want to make hijra or many people may turn to making hijra if they are able to do so for those who are not able to do so then they should show a good picture of islam which is islam islam is the good picture but show it to the people not by compromising but illustrating the beautiful characteristics of righteousness of uh, of islam but also not with cowardice in fact if you are able to do so defend the masjids especially in america we have that right we have the right to bear arms and i'm not calling people to bear arms but i'm calling people to be responsible and bear arms if you have the ability to do so instead of waiting for a tragedy to come to the masjid where you're nine where whatever you have to as those extremists who want to harm the believing men and believing women will do so my advice is to be strong not be weak and in cowardice because you won't have success with that likewise rely on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or first and foremost 
to walk of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and learn your religion and improve yourself and improve mankind, contribute good to mankind because they're always going to gather against, against you for your iman. That people will always attack and slander no matter what you do. As the schoolboy who brought a clock to his school, he made from scratch, the Sudanese boy in America, then he was persecuted by the right-wing media and by a lot of the evil, their evil associates. However, Allah will protect him. And however, he received many benefits in this dunya. So we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect our communities wherever they are, wherever they may be. And may Allah bless us to set the good and righteous example and be within our rights and be with honor and respect and be strong as believing men and believing women and protecting our communities, which we have the right to do so. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد